in this video, I'm going to be showing you a really critical point that I think you're going to need to know for Madden 23, and that is some of the best practices and best concepts and routes that you can utilize to consistently be able to beat man coverage year over year. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. So if you're looking to get better at Madden, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. And today we're taking a look at the New England Patriots trips tight in formation. And we're gonna be showing you a great little route combination that you can utilize from this that will consistently beat man to man coverage, whether it be in Madden 22 or in Madden 23, this concept will work very well. And I actually believe this is one of the many reasons why the New England playbook is probably the best trip tight end if you are running in regs because of this specific route that we're gonna show you in this video. Now the play that we're gonna be breaking down is Pat's Y in. Now if you have Hot Route Master or Outside Apprentice, you can do this from, uh, for example, PA Counter Go, and I'll show you that in this video. So we'll just go ahead and put that in our audibles. But my favorite way to do this is actually to use Pat's Y in. I think this is one of the most underrated plays in the trip side in formation, um, especially in the regs game mode. So Pat's YN is the play we're going to be going over today. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, man, I'd really like to learn the entire trips tight end offense. My full trips tight end uh, offensive ebook is available by joining my Patreon for just 10 bucks. You can get access to the entire ebook. There's a link in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, again, my Patreon comes equipped not just with the trips tight end. We have a ton of other products over there as well, um, but you get everything for just 10 bucks. So just by joining the membership, you'll literally get everything. Okay, so setup wise, how are we gonna run this play? One of the best tricks whenever you're trying to beat man-to-man -man coverage is to know what to look for. And what I like to do is post year over year have always been very good. Smart routing routes has also been a really key, uh, key thing. So if it's first and 10 or less, I typically will smart route this post on the outside. Then I have a couple of other routes here that I can kind of build around. This route to Randall Cobb is certainly not a bad route by any stretch. Um, that route can uh, potentially beat man. I'll show you a situation. But the main setup I'm going to go with is a zig route to Valdez Scantling right here to the circle receiver. A slant route to Randall Cobb, as you can see here. And then I like to put the running back on an out route. Out routes have been one of the best man beaters all year. So as you can see right here, this pure concept right here is very effective for beating man to man our first read is going to be are we getting pressed or not and if we are getting pressed this is why you always in my opinion in madden want to have a tight end and you want to have a running back because they don't get jammed and it's very helpful whenever we're talking about beating man to man so what you'll see here real quick is our running back typically is our first read if he beats man to the outside we will throw with an outside pass lead and we will trust him to be able to get, um, you know, separation. And really, this is another reason why you want to get a good running back backfield master. It's a great ability for this, just getting separation and man to man. But as you can see, just pass lead outside. A lot of times you can turn this up for 10 to 15 yards. And so what that's going to force your opponent to do is it's going to force them to have to put some kind of zone over here to be able to stop this so we're going to put the purple over here to kind of stop the running back out route and you're going to see how this concept really will build off of itself here in just a second so our next read if we do get a jam is our tight end you'll see on this little angled in route is really effective for beating man to man this is kind of a it's not sure exactly how to describe this route but it's a rounded in cutting route routes in this game that have those little sharp cuts are always really, really good for man to man. So now let's say that their user over the middle of the field is going to be responsible and they're gonna put him into a you know yellow zone to try to defend the tight end route. Well, he's gonna to have to guard the tight end all the way across this concept. And so what that's going to do is it's going to leave the slant route coming underneath that in route right there. Slant routes notoriously very effective for getting inside position against man to man, especially from the slot receivers. Um, year over year, they've been one of the best routes for beating man to man. So now they have to put their user essentially is going to be in conflict. So let's show you what's going to happen if he uses the slant. To illustrate this, we're going to put him in a QB spy. And what you'll see is if he stays underneath of this route, we can kind of wait on this tight end route. And you can kind of wait on it till about here. And as you can see, that will consistently be able to beat man to man. So now in order to stop, in order to stop the tight end route, what they have to do is they have to drop a zone 
over to the left side. So now we're going to have two purples and we're going to have our user over the middle of the field. And what you'll see with this is every single time that this happens, you've got a chance to get a home run shot over the top. If they're staying underneath on that post or on that slant, you got to trust that post. And that post is not always going to win, um, which is one of the other reasons why I think it's really important to put a route running ability on that player. But when that post wins, it wins big time. Another thing that you'll notice with this is this little whip route. We'll come back to that in just a second. But it will pull this purple zone out of the way. And so what you'll see is you can kind of still throw that in that little pocket right over the middle of the field. It's one of my favorite plays for man-to-man. -man. Now, I want to show you something else. So another thing that people like to do is they like to shade underneath um, to try to get underneath the slants and the little quick in-route cuts and stuff like that. If they're consistently doing that, this wheel route to the left side, a lot of times we'll actually get some space over the top for a potential one-play touchdown against a defense that's going to play inside and underneath coverage. So that's another little piece that we can kind of kind of a variation of this first setup here. If we're really getting a lot of shaded down man, real underneath style coverage, I like to go to this setup where I just slant the circle receiver, put the running back on an out route, and then I'll typically smart route the outside post. And then if I, you know, potentially could also smart route the inside tight end. And what you'll see here is that this little wheel on this left side, especially if they're shading underneath, will typically be able to beat man to man. Whenever people are playing two man under or they're shading their man coverage underneath in Madden, you want to try routes like a wheel route. One of the main reasons why is because if you look over here to the left side, you'll notice that at the snap of the ball, my wheel route will not get jammed and he will get that separation over the top. Now, what this is going to force your opponent to do is, number one, they're just going to have to play their basic defense, or number two, they're going to begin to shade over top. Whenever someone shades over top, now everything is basically open. And so what you'll see here is that when we go back to that original setup, this little whip route right here will cook man almost every single time for just a simple, easy read. If he doesn't get jammed and shaded underneath, he will tend to beat man. That's why whip routes are one of the most important routes in the game for beating man to man. You'll see here, this is a press. Um, the press, it does kind of hang with him. But again, when they press him, that's where you can kind of go back to that first or that second setup where you just use this wheel route on the left side. And that wheel route's not going to get jammed. A lot of times they sometimes will get picked off. But as you can see, it's going to really still open up and serve its purpose in terms of pulling the zones out of the way. So this is one of the, my favorite ways to be able to beat man. I think it's really important in Madden to consistently have an answer uh, for man to man. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I want to show you one other thing. This is more of a blitzing, like a cover zero man defense from like a 335 wide. And I just want to show you this play. And what you'll see with this is now if I'm in a 335 wide style defense and I'm going to send five, I don't have the ability to press circle. That's another reason as to why this is such a good route because I can't press him, therefore I can't stop that route. Another, and then I'll show you something else. This is more of a man-to-man, -man, press man, cover two man. Um, and what we'll do is we'll blitz our we'll blitz our linebackers. So now we're in a situation like this. Well, as you can see here, I'm out leveraged over here on the right side. So the user has to make a decision really quickly. Am I going to jet to the outside to cover the wheel or the potential flat, you know, or am I going to stay in our knees? So if we're still in this concept right here, this wheel is really, or this quick out is really good for a situation like that. Now I told you in the beginning of the video that I would show you a little bit of a cool tip that you could do from PA counter go. And basically, if you have an outside apprentice, you can just put this guy on a post. You can still slant Cobb, still zig circle, still out route Jones. And then if you have a tight end apprentice, I would put him on a tight end apprentice post. If you don't have a tight end apprentice, you can put him on a smart routed in route. And the smart routed in routes are one of the best routes year over year for beating man to man, especially if they don't get pressed. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to learn my entire Trips Tight End offensive ebook, there's a link in the description below. You can get that full ebook by joining my Patreon for just 10 bucks. Unlocks everything over there for you. Thanks for watching, and if you want to get the ebook, join the Patreon down in the description.